pizza pie and protect me from a gang rape. John aroused from the couch. Aroused. aroused. John was aroused on the couch. You could see that the experience of near death for his master excited him and gave him a throbbing heart on. So hard you could see the veins through the fabric of his pants. On his cock, that is. We're just going to go straight to erotic literature. <laughs> people realize, people think that we're both fucked up. You realize that, right? You know? They may have a point. Well, they definitely have a point. It's kind of weird. It's like, what would what, you do all weekend? Read my buddy's book. What's it about? Warlords and concubines. Pretty much. Like, he's got like a Mongolian fetish and a prostitute fetish. If you ever met a Mongolian whore, I don't know who would ever see him again. <laughs> a Mongolian whore. No, suck a suck a long time. I assume that's what she'd sound like. Uh, maybe it turns you on. It sounds kind of horrific to me. <laughs> he was feeling his own needs, making themselves known. <laughs> You greasy pirate. Yar, where be me saucy oriental wenches? And bring me some more rice vinegar. <laughs> and God knows what my neighbors think. They hear this all through the wall. And they're trying to sleep right now. They're like, fuck, it's like one in the morning. And this guy's over there screaming about Mongolian empires running on turds in the glass towers. What the fuck do they talk about over there? This is the most elaborate game of Risk we've ever heard played. <laughs> Like, yeah, would you like to come on my daughter's face while I come on my own? Horse, he asked Stanley. Jeez, I realize I'm yelling that in my apartment. I almost said by Paul Stanley. <laughs> Front man of kiss. I, hey, we're going to go down there. We're going to bang these dirty horse. Rock and roll. And now my neighbors are calling the police. They got Paul Stanley over there with a black guy. And they're both belittling him. There's some neo-Nazi fucking yelling at Paul Stanley. Billy Mays is here with another fantastic prostitute for you to come in on and all around. Check out these titties. It's like they came out of it again yesterday. I want it to be perfect because I'm a perfectionist. Like when I titty fuck a bitch. There's got to be just the right enough heart on, just the right enough lube to do an equal ratio of fucking pearl necklace. God damn it. Yeah, I'm into uh, Canadian Alliance Reform Party uh, bondage. I want a whip. Stockwell Day Day. You know, Mike Duffy's got a sex swing designed just for him when I come over. She was said to be the most... I can't deal with that. Like, what do I want to ramble on about Mike Duffy and Patrick Brazo getting gang-banged by Kim Jong-un on a bottle of cognac behind a dumpster at the mission with a toothless native quack whore fucking filleting them both as fast as she can. So fast her teeth are coming out on their knobs. You know, like halfway to gum job, halfway to tooth job. You know, like shredding a carrot. The Princess Temelin, too. Effervescent and ambitious and barely able to sustain herself from Ellen Jenner's fist. I'm going to stand up 69 myself. That's like auto fellatio on one foot in the shower. It's a dangerous life I like to live. One of intrigue and self-driven sodomy. <laughs> I'm going to go to church on Sunday and pray so hard. Stand up 69ing yourself on Dalhousie Street where all the floozies were. And came to be auto fellatioed by themselves in front of Patrick Brazo simultaneously. Do you know how much money fucking we could make just rambling on into this microphone? Yeah, ja, das ist mein Wiener Schnitzel. Bend over, Hans. I'm going to show you the poop in Hauser. I didn't shave my asshole. The toilet paper budget goes way up and you don't shave, but it's totally worth it because the hairs and the friction of your pee hole is totally worth it when the poop in Hauser penetration. It's disgusting. Poop in Hauser penetration? I don't know what that means. Never put a microphone in front of me and expect anything good to happen. That's kind of what's happening here. Why don't we have a radio show? You just like serious XM this out. And like two college kids would be like, hey, listen to this. And we'd be like infamous, not famous, infamous overnight. 2015 was a good year for rancid yak's milk. A month ago. Great. I can see where this is going. This was the Merlot of rancid yak's milk. It's like a crocodile hunter. Crikey! What a beautiful Sheila! Watch me get eviscerated by this stingray! Fuck! There's a fucking inn! 
there's a fucking inn. Like Hobbit stay in with fucking Gandalf the Gay. Stand up 69ing fucking Saruman swallowing big magical loads of fucking jism. <laughs> My neighbors hear me yelling this. They're not sure of what's really going on. You know? <laughs> I just hear me yelling about Gandalf said I'm 69 Saruman and magic jism. And they pray that I don't, like, fucking shoot the place up. Man, if my cock bent downwards, I'd fuck myself in the ass so hard. Too bad it bends up. <clears throat> I'd like that stricken from the record, Your Honor. And pour me another flagon of Vingar. Yeah, these fucking oceans is a trade. I'll trade you Atlantic for the Caspian. Great. Fuck. Oh, well, that's actually a sea. I'll see you a sea and raise you a desert. Fuck. That <laughs> could be in sea. This is a terrible trade. An ocean and a sea. Very vastly between volumetric measure. A whistle came over the horizon. Zanzuki ripped his head. Ripped his head. <laughs> like, Halma! and then fucking like... Cherokee riding across the plains of Mongolia. This is some fucking, like, interspecies Native American withdrawal. Fuck. And General Custer didn't show up with his Gatling guns. Well done. Oh, this water's not wet enough. Where are you from? Somalia. Oh, like the pirates. Oh, I had a stroke. You're not, you're like, not doing the accent. I'll show you an accent. Organize attachment, me lord! So, <laughs> get out myself. <laughs> He's doing Cockney, who's straight off the dark end. Crikey! An arrow to the leg! A flesh wound, governor! Fancy a crumpet! Got some old grey tea, have ya? Set on my face! Gonna get round to the bobbies and gonna come round to Manchester United! Number one, eh? Oh, under no circumstances am I going to give you any of my Jello coupons. En engaged and enraged, small talk. Oh, the weather's nice. I like your tie. I want to get a tattoo of a pussy magnet. <laughs> right next to my dick. It's not going to help me be my future wife, but certainly help me get my dick sucked. Or pussy magnet tramp stamp. You want to see my pussy magnet? <laughs> I'm never blowing you. <laughs> like every woman ever. Be Jing Yaker, be Sitch Bane. Bane is in this novel now. How the lineage of this person works into the story. <laughs> Forty pages about it. His mother met his father at a country club. They enjoyed golfing at the driving range. They stand up 69 together right there over their pile of three woods. Like, pile of three woods. <laughs> All kinds of... There's no bag or cat. <laughs> it's like, pile that they drag. And they only use the same fucking. Like, 20 of the same club. I'll show you a dick trick, I call it. Penile disrememberment. With a gold scimitar on the left hip. Good scimitar. Ah, cooler if it's gold. <laughs> Yo, useless, a gold sword. You pull it out, buddy with a steel sword comes at you, it's like, shears clean in half, like, he <laughs> a gold sword. Looks cool, useless. Jesus fucking age Christ, titty fucking tap dancing, river dancing, fucking... I watch swamp people while I masturbate. <laughs> now that's Tourette's. <laughs> I was like, I fell asleep in this bed, and all I could dream about was this bed. A real bed. One you would dream about while it twixt the sh- I'm slowly becoming the pirate voice. Yar, a real bed. Rotten steel semen sickles. Jeez, semen sickles. <laughs> like, bring me another cum sickle from the fridge, please. I'll have the load-flavored snow cone. Great dishonor. Immediate disembowelment. Sometimes his wife's carrot just don't reach the fucking prostate far enough. It needs a real throbbing Mongolian cock to do a woman's job. Got creepy. It just got crusty. Arr! Pour me some more Vingar. Keep that in the blooper reel. Is that him, Emiliana? Is that Lord Balgatay's next over side chair? Yes, most illustrious immaculate mistress. There was sweat on the woman's brow now. <laughs> Have you fed the horses? Yeah, lots of hay. <laughs> 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 
Amelia, bring me some more Vinegar to wash down this saffron wine. I want to buy a Harry Carey knife now. I wonder if you can actually buy them. You know, like, you should Google that. Amazon Harry Carey knife. One time use. A disposable knife. It doesn't have to be great. You just use it one time. It's like it's going to be like a generational thing. Son, use this. And remember me when you disembowel yourself someday. Now stand up 69 with me, barmaid and whore. As she warned. Listen, outfit. It's going to get greasy. We brought lots of Tide, but there's going to be a lot of cum stains. Yet whatever it was, it was the most ungodly thing you can imagine. Susan Boyle melting you with her voice. <laughs> All right, have a seat. We prepared a special concert for you in this amphitheater. Ah, oh, sweet. I guess it wasn't so bad. I dream a dream. Ah! Like down to your skeleton, just like steaming. There's a p- pile of ooze leaking down the chair around you. How many loads to the mouth can I take in an evening? How many loads to the... My neighbors are like, what is he doing over there anyway? I came on your girlfriend's tits. Great dishonor. I guess I always do say something like that. Disembowelment. This is why nothing makes sense anymore. Glad to see the Rothschild family lasted the fucking apocalypse, by the way. So they walked upstairs, passed by a bathroom that looked like someone had murdered a family in. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got to clean this place up. I'm assuming that's the bathroom what's her face bathed in. Yeah. Okay. It's like happened to be like, Just open a door. Ah, there's a fucking whole bunch of murdered people in here. Let's go to the next room. You done did good, Jebediah. Now pour me another glass of that hillbilly moonshine while I down this flag in a vine gar. I don't even know where the fuck this is happening. You're doing the fucking accent. Like, you think it's like a whole bunch of Australian... I just, I never, I don't know. I fucking, just kind of, it goes in and out, man. It goes in and out. You got, like, glass up fucking towers and whores everywhere and fucking one guy's got an elevator shaft. Another guy's rolling around in horse shit. I don't fucking know what's going on anymore. This is my new thing. I want to say nay all the time. After I sucked off Genghis's horse. Then there were a man that was just been laughing at the crushed heads of children. The pudding pops full of the roof and all. <laughs> Ignore the funny taste and the numb lips and the put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> Dios me, I came a long way for the poop mines. Things I heard you yelling in your apartment this weekend. What are they plowing the snow with a helicopter? The great helicopter snowplowing disaster of 2016. This is what happens when they call in the Air Force instead of the Army to bail us out of snow. Three naked ladies walk... I wonder what happened if you swallowed a whole bunch of fucking baking soda and then drank a mouthful of vinegar. We should try it to celebrate when we finish this. To celebrate! How do we celebrate? Ate a whole bunch of baking soda, drank some vinegar, and vomited all over myself. It is tits. Bring me another bowl of baking soda. And pour me another flag in a vine gar. It's going to be a science project in here. Arr. Before you, you mix the vinegar with like red fucking baking soda, so you're like a high school fucking science project volcano yourself. Huffing horse shit. He'd be so sick. Like huffing horse shit. Oh god, what is wrong with me? Sometimes when I'm finger banging my own pee hole, I think. Is there anything more to life? Black Sherlock Holmes. I would have draw that fucking comic book. Yo, solve mysteries and shit. My cock is the hound of the Baskervilles. My cock is the hound of the Baskervilles. You fool, what have you signed up for? <laughs> How they got a Tasmanian devil in Tasmania? One time, I fed a baby. To a lion. You think I'm fat, great dishonor, <laughs> like no matter what you did, she's going to disembowel herself. One time, I raped an Eskimo. He deserved it. Oh, I suck dicks in the land of snow, blowing snowmen everywhere I go. Blowing snowmen everywhere. Man, you got the worst cold sores on your lips, figuratively and literally. This program was directed and produced by Jason Shannon. 
For more information on Jason Shannon and his writing, visit www.jasonmshannon.com. For more information regarding the Mongolian Book of the Sky series, including more stories like this one absolutely free, visit www.harrogenshounds.com. That's www.harugenshounds.com. Text copyright 2015 by Jason Shannon. Production copyright 2016 by Jason Shannon. All rights reserved. No part of this recording may be played for an audience or reproduced in any form. It may not be streamed, downloaded, broadcast, or copied without prior written consent from the author. Address all inquiries to jm1shannon at gmail.com. Thank you for listening.